So you want to know how to add React Rose to your Discord server? Well, that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today in this video. So please hit that like, subscribe button, follow my Twitter is right there in front of your face. And let's get to it. Now, first thing is first, you want to make your way over to your Discord server that you want to add the React Rose to. As you guys know, I made a new Discord server specifically for YouTube videos that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do something. Last episode, we learned how to add a verification bot to our server. So if you missed it, go check it out. But now we're here to add React Rose. Okay, so first things first, you will need to go to your settings and go go over to rows okay now once you're on the row section you want to specifically make a row that you want to have reacted to so for example let's say i want to make a new row and call it giveaways okay so anytime i'm hosting a giveaway i want to make sure that people have the row and they get pinged whenever i'm ready to announce a giveaway you do not need to display it nor do you need to allow anybody to mention this row it is specifically for you and a bot so once you do that just click on save changes you're good to go honestly the best thing you can do is click on clear permissions and click on save changes now if you want to you can go ahead and create more rows that you want to have reacted to but i'm only going to implement this one because i wanted to use it for an example next thing we do is now add in the bot now the bot we're going to be using today is called dino okay yes like dinosaur yes it's called dino with this bot you are able to add react rows and very much other things but today we're focusing strictly on react rows this is the website i will have a link down below in the description go ahead and click on this it's going to bring you to this website and you're going to make your way over to the top right click add to server and it's gonna pop up this whole thing right here but we're here to get the free version so click on right here to add to server it may also make you log in so make sure you do that it's safe don't worry about it it's gonna bring you to this option as well and uh you want to make sure to invite it to the server that you want it to so i'm going to go to youtube tutorial that is the server that we're going to add it to click on authorize now right here is going to make you try to select a preset so i usually like using this command right here the slash and of course put your time zone i don't think it really matters but you know who, who cares choose update channel of course i like to just put everything in bot commands so that nobody can really see it and uh let's just go to click done okay we're basically done here is the interface for DinoBot. after that you want to type in react and it already is going to show up react row so you want to click on the settings make sure it is on because you know sometimes it might not be on but make sure it's on now right here you have the message settings so right here it says give a unique name okay so i'm just going to say react rows now after that it's going to make you select a channel now of course we have not created a channel yet so we're going to go over back to our discord and we're going to create a react rose channel so uh let's click on the plus channel right here and let's just type in react channel okay so react channel click on private channel of course if you guys did watch my other video on the verification rows you will understand that you do have to click on the verification row that allows you to get into the server so now that you've created the react channel of course you want to also give the bot verification to use the server so i'm going to click on the dino bot give it the clouds row if you guys did watch my first video you would understand that you have to give the bot permissions in order to just manage the whole server because that's the only way it's going to work now once you've done that go back over to the website and now that you click on the channel it's going to show react channel right there you might have to refresh it uh, just in case it doesn't show up and right here it says type in a message so i'm going to put plain message you can put embed message or existing message but i like to put a plain message so uh it says please react here to get your rope so i'm gonna type in right here giveaway row because i want this one to be the giveaway row uh message so boom giveaway row you can add emojis and things like that so i'm just gonna put the finger down right there go down to add reaction from right here you get the rows to something so remember we created the giveaway row i'm gonna add the giveaway row right there and what reaction by reaction is gonna ask for the emoji that we want to put so i'm gonna put the gift because i want it to be a gift you know go with the giveaways and things like that so if you want to add more you can you just add reaction and just from right here this is how you're going to do it so i'm gonna give you guys another example let's say i want to add another row called jobs so i'm going to type in jobs and uh, i would have to go back to the discord of course and make the row called jobs so we're going to go over to the rows create a row we're going to name it jobs and just from right here as i said go to permissions clear all the permissions save changes and from here you want to go back to the website now here we are back on the website i do recommend you to save your changes before anything happens and uh, things like that because i do want to make sure to have the job selection right here and okay now we're going to go to the jobs and we're going to add a bag emoji so i'm going to click on the bag boom a bag emoji go to reactions or the rows and we're going to find jobs okay so just like that the rows that i do create 
end up popping up on here. So you might have to refresh the whole website in order for the rows to be shown right in the website. So boom, just like that, we have the reaction emoji, we have the row set up, and the message above right here is gonna let us know everything. So boom, now that we're done, all we do is click on save, and we're gonna go back over to our Discord. As soon as it says success, it's good to go. Go back over to Discord, and as you can see right here, the React channel, we click on that, and boom, our message is right there. Now, of course, I could make it look all nice and sweet, but this is just an example. So right here, it says giveaway row and job. So let's say, for example, I do wanna get the giveaway row, so I click on that, and I go over to my name, and boom pow i now have the giveaway row added let's say i also want to have the jobs row okay so i'm gonna click on the jobs row go over to my name boom now i have both of them easy peasy and yes you can take them off if you want so you click back on them go over to your name and now they're gone so just like that that is basically how you create a react rose you can mess around with the website if you would like you know make your message look way nicer so that it appeals to the eyes and it doesn't look too trash so yeah i really hope you guys did enjoy this very short video on how to add react rose to your discord server if i was any help i would really appreciate it if you hit that like subscribe button i'm here to help every discord moderator every discord discord content creator whatever you want so kiss you all in your forehead and you guys go make that bread